First, we would like to introduce you to our fund, the Korea Green Growth Trust Fund. Um, through consistent investment by the Korean government and activities um, side by side with World Bank over the past 10 years, the fund has had, has had fundamental impact on how governments around the world tackle the difficult challenge of realizing sustainable and efficient economic growth. Here to provide the overall picture of our activities is Mr. Wang Hyung-gun, project manager of the Korean Green Growth Trust Fund. He joins us from our World Bank headquarters in Washington, D.C. Good evening. Good morning, Jie. Uh, thank you so much for kind of introduction. Uh, can you hear me? So thank you. So then uh, please share my screen, uh, my PowerPoint, and I will start. Great, thank you so much. Good morning and good evening. A uh, warm welcome to everyone joining KJID event uh, through YouTube live streaming now. My name is Hyungun Wang. I'm the program manager of Korea Green Growth Trust Fund uh, at World Bank based in Washington, DC, as GIA kindly introduced to me. It is a great honor to share what our KJTF has already achieved and aim to achieve in coming years post-COVID. Next slide. Korea Green Growth Trust Fund, KGGTF, was established in 2011 as per visionary partnership agreement uh, signed between the World Bank and the Korean government. KGGTF aimed to support uh, operationalizing green growth in action at the World Bank. And now our role has become even more critical uh, post-COVID. Specifically, at the 2021 spring meetings, which were held just two weeks ago, our World Bank management and the development community, a ministerial level forum that represents 189 member countries around the world, endorsed green, resilient, and inclusive recovery as an urgent global agenda. Our World Bank Group President, David Maipes, emphasized, as quoted here, our collective responses to poverty, climate change, and inequality will be the defining choice our age. Next slide. Also, World Bank President mentioned at his pre-spring meeting speeches three weeks ago, the need for green growth for systematic transformations in key sectors such as energy, food systems, manufacturing, transportation, and urban infrastructure, which account for 90% of green house gas emissions globally. KJTF is also working with those key green growth sectors. Next slide. So far, KJTF has provided grant support to 165 World Bank projects with a total of $88 million of the grant. Those grants promote multi-sectoral and holistic green growth solutions and innovative tools to seven green growth sectors at the World Bank, as listed, as listed in the speech of the World Bank Group President. They are agriculture and food, digital development, energy and extractives, environment, natural resources and blue economy, transport, urban resilience and land, and water sector. Next slide. Let me explain KGTF operations at the World Bank. Broadly, we support Green Growth in Action World Bank by first providing grant funding support and second, Green Growth knowledge creation, knowledge exchange, dissemination, and partnership building. Next slide. In terms of grant support, funding support, 
KGTF is highly valued at the World Bank for its support and strong push for new methodologies and technologies, investment in innovative approaches, and facilitating learning from Korea and around the world, as our SDVP Yogen mentioned just before. More importantly, around 80% of our grants have innovative technology components. Next slide. KGTF provides grant support to various green growth sectors at the World Bank. To my knowledge, KGTF is the only trust fund at the World Bank that takes a multi-sectoral strategy engaging in all green growth related sectors, as listed here. Next slide. Geographically, KGTF is a truly global program and provides grant support to all regions around the world, as shown in this global map. Next slide. We are also actively promoting green growth knowledge creation, knowledge exchange, dissemination, and partnership building in cross collaboration with the knowledge partners in Korea, also around the world. So far, we delivered 58 knowledge exchange programs with 1,345 participants, who include 463 World Bank staff, 801 country client representatives, and 150 partnering organizations in Korea. Next slide. We produce a variety of green growth knowledge products, ranging from books to virtual reality immersed tours to lectures and also bite-sized films. Knowledge exchanges also include green, Korea Green Innovation Days, as we are organizing today and tomorrow and also global large promotion platforms, such as our comprehensive KGGTF website. Next slide. Thank you. The World Bank Group responded swiftly the COVID-19 global pandemic with a range of initiatives and committed to work with the countries on how exactly to build back better and green, which was detailed in the World Bank Group COVID-19 Crisis Response Approach Paper, as shown here. Also, the paper was also cited by uh, Richard Damania. KGTF's experience with green growth for over 10 years is now even more relevant as client countries prioritize green, resilient, and inclusive recovery. You will continue to provide financial and technical support for innovative green growth solutions to developing challenges of our client countries. We are honored to support the World Bank's global effort for green, resilient, and inclusive recovery. Next slide. Last year, KGTF, with the donors' approval from the Korean government, selected and provided grant support to 21 World Bank projects, which align with the new corporate priorities of green, resilient, and inclusive recovery. Specifically, all 21 approved grants were linked directly to Green New Deal, Digital New Deal, and Health and Hygiene. Next slide. We announced the 2021 Call for Grant Proposal last week. This year's KGTF grant will also be focused on greening the first COVID recovery, which is the theme of today's Korea Green Innovation Days event. It includes applying green growth approaches 
supporting developing countries to rebuild their economies uh, post-pandemic, strengthening future pandemic preparedness, and that demonstrate a direct linkage to Korea's Green New Deal, Digital New Deal, and post-COVID response. Next slide. This is my last slide. As, as explained in the beginning, our World Bank and the development community endorsed green, resilient, and inclusive development at our spring meetings uh, just two weeks ago. Green, resilient, and inclusive development were great, as mentioned by uh, Yogen, also Richard, is our collective response to the poverty, climate change, and inequality, and and is the defining choice of our age, as World Bank President emphasized. KJTF will continue our work to promote green growth at the World Bank and welcomes the opportunity to partner with you to share green growth knowledge and expertise with the countries around the world. Thank you so much. <laughs>